Hello, in this uh, AWS Service Start program, I wish to demonstrate of this uh, 190 lab that is automating uh, deployments using cloud formation. Okay, this is uh, a very important lab. Okay, uh, infrastructure as a code. That's what Amazon mentions about uh, this uh, uh, cloud formation. I just start the lab and I explain about the uh, lab contents. Okay, so here this lab will demonstrate how to deploy the AWS Cloud Formation stack with a defined, okay, the lab is getting started, VPC and security group. Configure this uh, with stack of resources. Maybe later on we can also create a uh, EC2 instance in that using this Cloud Formation also. Terminate, okay, using this, uh, uh, okay, yeah, using this template. I mean, uh, we will be uh, the stack, okay. So, yeah. Uh, once we get the lab ready, yes, we can start with task 1. So, meanwhile, I will also uh, uh, download this task1.yaml file. This is a YAML file. Uh, you can view this YAML is the, uh, yeah, is, uh, uh, contains the code of this uh, cloud formation uh, template stack. YAML is the uh, markup language. You can open this one using this uh, uh, either notepad++ or using notepad. Okay, any of these applications should be okay. I just open using this Notepad++ if you have. Otherwise, you can open through this uh, Notepad. So here you see this one. Meanwhile, I'll explain about this template. So you have all the resources. You just go through. See, this is parameter section. This is resource section. And also you see there is uh, an output section also should be there. Yeah, here you see this one output section. So the parameters are the parameters which you are defining actually. You see this one, this is VPC CADR you are defining. Uh, is asking about the two CADR for defining the BAP. I mean range is 10, 0, 0, 0, uh, slash 20 and slash 24. This is so. In resources, uh, the infrastructure what you are deploying will be mentioned in this particular one. So the template is uh, the VPC and also you can see the security groups etc. also published along with this along with uh, you can in this problem the subnets etc. are also defined. And now uh, the outputs you can see this is the uh, VPC security group is deployed. So this is the name which is there value of so and so has been deployed. So this is about this task 1 dot YAML. Okay, just wait till the lab is ready. So already, yes, the lab is ready. I will, I, I click this AWS. It will open a new window. Yeah, if you get any kind of errors like this, just log out and log in back again. Okay, because the previous session is not properly closed. Yeah, I will also uh, duplicate this session. Maybe later, I will also duplicate this session. So the first one I can make use uh, uh, for this uh, EC2 or maybe I can also use this uh, cloud formation and, and the other one I use this for cloud formation. Okay, so this is the dashboard of my cloud formation. Yeah, meanwhile. Uh, deploy a cloud formation stack. So, yeah, I have already downloaded. We have explored a little bit. Go to console services. Yes, we have gone through. Create a stack, up, upload it. Uh, you see this one? This is the main dashboard. Uh, this is, as I mentioned, this is infrastructure as a code. You can see the code is written in JSON or YAML. I took now YAML code. Create a stack. You have three options. Template ready. Use a sample template. Create using template designer. So I have a template, okay, I have a template is ready and it is with me and that is, uh, uh, okay, that is just now I have downloaded task1.yaml. So what I do now, yeah, I just go and upload the template. I just go and upload the template. You can see upload a template, choose the file which I have just downloaded. So it should be there in the download folder, the task1.yaml, uh, yeah has been uploaded. It is getting uploaded now. Let's just say next. You see the stack name? Go as per the your stack name as the lab. Again the parameters. 
you can select the same one you will see the cloud formation CADR as mentioned in the template so no need to modify the values in the option space also uh, leave the settings to default values last is the review and once it is done the stack is prepared the four steps okay but the tags also you can leave as it is or the pins also you can leave as it is notifications and all defaults and now just uh, scroll down this is the review just to create a stack so in one go the complete stack is created so group of AWS infrastructure which is there okay now it is done so once this is done uh, yeah you can click events uh, to see the listing so what is happening you can see the events here itself you can just refresh what exactly is doing yeah so and so has been done now it is creating lab vpc has been done uh, public subnet is getting created okay internet gateway has been created so yeah public subnet once it is created you will see the stack creation complete okay so click refresh this completes our task one okay so now in our next task we will gain experience your objective is to add s3 bucket to the template let us do that then update s3 stack uh, update the stack so here in the cloud formation select the lab and click update okay so just let me wait till the creation yeah creation is complete now you can see the stack info yeah and also you can go to the stacks also the creation this is my lab this is my lab okay so uh, i have selected and click update you can say update so what it does is that replace current template with upload a template choose file task one dot yaml that you modified so here uh, okay meanwhile uh, what we need to do that go to this uh, task one dot yaml uh, here this is my template under resources what we mentioned you see this one under resources uh, uh, you need to do some modifications so for that just click this s3 template okay i click here uh, go to yaml there is my bucket so i'll just copy this one and maybe what i do uh, you do not require any properties okay indents are very important uh, use two spaces uh, for each indent the correct solution is only uh, need two lines so i just uh, select these two So just try to modify the resources like this okay give two spaces of indent otherwise it won't okay i'll save this file i save this file yes i already saved okay next i have chosen my file upload choose task one dot html yaml sorry uh, task one yeah just say next yeah now you can see yes properly executed you can see the tags all these things yes say next it's a review specify the style okay as expected okay you can see some changes let me check yeah you can see the changes here and s3 bucket so and so okay just say update style so whatever we have made some change those things gets updated that is the intention of this lab so yeah uh, you can see if the bucket is not correctly created yes so if you want yes this is your sample uh, as a download it's exactly the same thing which you have created exactly yes you have given that yes the modification needed two indents are must so hence this is lab 2 task 2 is done so add an amazon ec2 instance to the stack so what we are going to do again we will open the same thing we add uh, in the parameter section this particular thing uh, the same values same, same values email id and all these things also needs to be managed so what i do yeah so we are actually actually updating the template so this is updation is in progress by this time yeah update is complete you can uh, uh, go through the dashboard no go through the s3 service and see that my bucket has been created yeah you can see this one 
that is my bucket has been lab my my s3 bucket has been created just now right so now let us do uh, another one in the parameter section let me open this the same booklet okay so here under parameters there is this one parameters I just update this particular one Okay. Just give the indents. All right, Amazon Linux AMID. Uh, the type is so and so parameters. Amazon Linux latest Amazon tool, and this is the ID which has been given. To so once this is done, I can go back again. To, yeah, this update is complete go back to stats select your lab and then uh, maybe you can say update replace current template upload a template after uh, this troubleshooting uh, we need to insert all this parameters t3 dot micro uh, yeah this same id and also your name app server all these things also needs to be inserted along in the resources space okay the instances uh, properties itself so once this is done otherwise you can even compare with the uh, task 3 dot uh, yaml so there is this file to in task 3 dot yaml which modifications has been done you say next you should see the linux amid and see this uh, yeah scroll down and say review yeah, this should also show you the changes yeah it's coming change set is in progress this operation may take uh, just a few minutes yes the bucket is there we have added instance also yeah if you uh, there is a remove script also yes yeah just you can update the stack so it will make all the necessary changes and even in uh, if you go to uh, yes uh, EC2 yeah this app server is just initialized just initializing it's getting created using the template it's getting the template so yeah the app server is just created return to the cloud formation console so in this way you can uh, uh, configure your you can control your uh, infrastructure using this uh, what we call as uh, uh, cloud formation template so if you want to remove the infrastructure like which you have created like s3 bucket so you see this one there is an s3 bucket also and of course you have ec2 instance you can delete the uh, stack just delete the stack so here these are the delete stack yeah, you can see this one once if you initiate this delete stack uh, you can even refresh and see the stack actions also so it will take some time uh, the all the behind infrastructure which you have created yeah it has been getting terminated also the deletion after some period of time all the infrastructure this completes our lab okay uh, so once this is done you can end lab say yes okay that's all thank you everyone bye